Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first problem. Which of the following statements is true regarding ABO blood group system? And here is the three answers. I would start with answer C or statement C. The only ABO type blood that normally does not have either A or B antigens is blood group AB. Imagine that this is red blood cell and here we have blood group AB. And what does it mean? It means that on the surface of these red blood cells we would have two types of antigens. Antigen A and antigen B. So on the surface of such red blood cells of the group AB we would have two antigens A and B. So this statement is not correct and statement B, people who are type AB normally produce both anti-A and anti-B antibodies and this is also not true because serum of such uh, blood, blood group AB, wouldn't contain any antibodies at all because antibodies fight uh, proteins, protein A and B and uh, of course, as you understand, such blood cannot contain antibodies A and B or otherwise these antibodies would uh, destroy its own um, red blood cells. So the only correct answer here would be answer A. And it is people who have the A antigen normally would not produce the anti-A antibody. Once again, if it is going to be a red blood cell of the blood group A on the surface of this red blood cell, we would find only one type of the antigen, antigen A. And of course, in the serum, we wouldn't find antibody A. This doesn't make sense, but what we can find, we would find here uh, antibodies B present, so if such a person would get red blood group, for example, AB, so if it is going to be recipient and if this is going to be a donor, of course, uh, when these two red blood cells would mix, uh, antibodies B present in the serum of the uh, blood group A would start killing this foreign uh, red blood cells. So that's why it is very important to know which blood groups can serve as um, donors and which can serve as uh, recipients. Otherwise uh, the consequences can be very sad. So answer A is correct people who have A antigens on the surface of the red blood cells uh, normally would not produce the anti-A antibody. And as you see, this blood group produces only anti-B antibodies. And next question or statement, the universal blood donors for the ABO blood system are type, and once again, here is the answers. And we already know uh, the picture for the blood group AB and blood group A and similar picture for the blood group B. So now you know that here we can find on the surface of the red blood cell uh, pro surface protein B and of course in the serum we won't find uh, antibody B here we would find antibody A. So antibody A would present in the serum of this blood group. And the last blood group left is blood group 
O and on the surface of this blood group we wouldn't find neither antigens A and B. Uh, here we would find uh, recessive antigen O and in blood serum we would find uh, both antibodies A and antibodies B. So A and B we can find here in the serum. So now I know that uh, looking at these pictures it would be very confusing to understand which uh, blood group can be considered universal donor because for example if we would use uh, blood group AB as universal donor and transfuse it to the recipient blood group A here we have antibodies B that would start to to destroy these um, red blood cells because antigen B present here we cannot use uh, blood group B to transfuse to blood group A because uh, here we have uh, antibodies B that would start to destroy these uh, red blood cells we cannot use uh, red blood group AB in order to be uh, a donor for blood group O because both antibodies A and B present in the serum. So actually universal um, donor would be blood group O so we can transfuse this uh, blood to the group A, AB and B and you may be confused why we can do it because serum here contains uh, antibodies A and B and uh, if we transfer it is here uh, as you see here we present antigens A and antibodies um, A would start to kill such red blood cells and the same would be here and here and actually because uh, blood is uh, never transfused as it is uh, it is separated to different fractions and red blood cells would be transfused separate from the blood serum and if we consider only red blood cells uh, it wouldn't have any reaction in uh, whether we mix with blood group AB because it doesn't have any antibodies at all. It also wouldn't uh, have any reaction with serum of the blood group A because none of the B antigens present here. It also wouldn't have any reaction with serum of the blood group A because once again antigens A is not present here. So uh, this blood group would be considered universal donor and blood group AB would be considered universal recipient because it can get uh, transfusion people who have uh, this blood group can get transfusion from any of these blood groups because serum doesn't have any antibodies here for uh, allele A or B or antigen A, B and O and uh, as you see allele A and allele B would be co-dominant so that's why we have blood group AB and allele O of this surface protein would be recessive to both uh, allele A and allele B so that's why uh, genotypes for the blood group A would be A a and A O and here we would have genotype B B and also B O and O would be recessive so uh, O would be present here but there is no uh, allele O can be present if blood group would be genotype B O and uh, still there is no antibodies for allele or recessive allele or so 
uh, this blood group can be transfused and can be a uh, person who has this blood group can be universal donor for any of these blood groups. And our correct answer would be answer C. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.